Hey YouTube, what's going on? I know a lot of you have been waiting for this video. We're going to put up a, a flat screen TV, a big one, like a 60 inch, I don't know what it has got. But we're going to put it up on a wall mount where an old TV, the old deep TV used to be. So besides learning how to put up a flat screen on a wall mount, and these skills you're going to learn in this video is going to apply to any flat screen from a small one to a big one. But you're also going to learn how to put up a flat screen in a spot where an old, big old box TV used to be um, without too much hassle. So what we did was we got a wall mount. Now, I don't say names or anything of companies because I'm not getting sponsorship yet. So, But if any of you have any brains, you're going to be able to figure out where I got this wall mount from. And the thing about the place that I get this, this wall mount from is the price. Now, in like a like a appliance store or like a home center, this wall mount, the heavy duty arm wall mount, it's gonna be like $179, 39 bucks plus shipping. So if you don't mind waiting the four days it takes for shipping, you're gonna save a lot of money. Uh, plus, they have a huge selection. They probably got like 500 different style wall mounts. Where in a home center or an appliance store, you're gonna have like four to, to choose from. So, um, and, then, and the quality is the same you're going to get at those other places. So, uh, again, I don't say names or anything, but if you got any brains, you'll figure out where I got this wall mount from, and if you don't mind, uh, but I hate rep repeating stuff. All right, so let's get down to business. Let me show you guys here. This is what we did to frame in the, if I can get you a wide shot. So. The deep TV used to be in here, the old box style TV. This is probably like 22 inches deep or something like that. What we did is we measured the setback, in other words, the distance from the back of the TV set to, to the front of the frame in the wall, okay? So that we're gonna call the setback, okay? You see that? What we did is we basically boxed it in. We took some one by fours, and uh, we use some L brackets. It's a very easy way to do this. Okay, we use some L brackets. We made sure they were level and cut to shape, uh, cut to size, you know, so there's no lot, not a lot of free play at the ends. And uh, we supported them with a couple of little L brackets. Okay, and then we just braced the top also because we don't, this is arm mount. It comes way out and we don't want that weight to, to twist these things. So both top and bottom, okay. And then we braced it front to back also, again, using the L, the L brackets. Okay, you see little L brackets. Focus, focus, little L brackets. Or I should say autofocus, autofocus. Cause, um, and then in the bottom, you can see it's just, uh, okay? So we just did the bottoms and then the front, we, we countersunk a couple of screws, some two inch drywall screws right into the, into the braces. So it's very strong and it resists twisting. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna treat this as if it was the wall mount. The fully adjustable, articulated, tilting and arm mounted TV mount right to this wooden brace that we put in the box, okay? So just stay tuned, it's a quick video, I edit in and out, I just show you the important stuff and the also nice thing, and you guys know this because I love my YouTube people, I don't fool around and uh, edit out the screw up. So if we run into any problems on this installation, they're going to be here for the whole world to see and the only reason I do that is to show my subs, my viewers, and sub while you're here please, is to show you guys and give you the confidence that yes, you can tackle a project and yes, you can deal with the things that pop up because it never goes the way you plan. There's always something that happens. <laughs> and by the way, this video is a long time coming. My inbox tells the tale. Everybody, everybody's like, mount a flat screen, mount a flat screen, show us how to mount a flat screen. So after the long anticipated wait, we're gonna show you how to mount a flat screen on a fully articulated arm. But again, the skills from this skill set you're gonna learn doing this video, watching this video, you can use on any TV, any wall mount, and, um, and also any, uh, any, uh, any uh, whatever. Okay, so look, here it is. Uh, again, I'm not gonna mention 
like where I got it from because I don't get sponsorship, but price is right. And, uh, you know, we're talking a huge, huge disc discount and the selection they're going to offer you because I'm not kidding around. They got like 500 wall mounts. They also sell cables and connectors and adapters and all kinds of stuff that goes along with electronics, although they don't directly sell like, like, like TVs and phones and stuff like that. Okay, so... Um, if you can see the picture, it's got the nice arm back there, and this back bracket is what we're going to mount, treating this as if it was the wall. And the front bracket, which are these up and down guys, we're going to mount right to the back of the television. And uh, I'll tell you right now, these are always metric, okay? So your regular uh, standard American nuts and bolts are not going to fit this. These are always metric. They may be different sizes depending on make, manufacturer, and size of television, but the mounting holes are always metric. So on all flat screens, you're gonna have four of these. Uh, if it's a small TV, they're gonna be small and close together. If it's a bigger TV, they're gonna be big fat metric bolts, and they're gonna be spaced apart wider. But that's where we're gonna put these, these arms, and those allow you to lift the television off or after you mount this you can just lift the tv up and just it drops into place with gravity and there's tabs on the bottom that you can lock it in place and even put a padlock if you're worried about theft wall mount so you're going to be you're going to be looking at something like this and basically it's all the wall mount and stuff but what i really want to show you is the hardware package okay so they'll give you a whole bunch of hardware and usually what you'll find in here is like four big lag bolts, which are the big like bolts for putting it in the wood and stuff. So you're gonna have like four big lag bolts and you can see they're pointy, they have a very coarse thread and usually a hex head. And this is what you mount into the wall. Hopefully if you're going into like a drywall or paneling or something, you can look for the stud behind the wall and you're going to shoot these guys right into the stud, and that's going to give you your strength. You never want to just screw these things into like drywall or plaster because it will pull out, especially on this one where it's going to come out, and when you pull it out and tilt it, there's a huge amount of weight placed on that arm. It's like a fulcrum, like a lever. So it's exponentially um, bigger weight than if it was just a flat screen TV that just sat on a wall and it didn't tilt. It's important to get the but also besides those four leg bolts okay so let's separate those and they also give you anchors usually and this would be for like putting in a brick wall or something like that you put the anchors all right so we have those separated then usually what you'll get is like an allen key or in this case two and then that just goes to show you the quality of the unit from this place that i'm not going to mention the name of that they give you that and uh okay so then you've got different size screws and bolts sometimes it's in this big long plastic package with a bunch of little envelopes built in but it'll be all different size screws but these are all metric and they're all for mounting depending you got to find the size uh, let's see which the next size small is probably this one but you got to find the size for your television because all the televisions are going to have depending on make a manufacturer they're going to have different size okay and they'll also usually give you like of this size which is probably like an m3 by uh 20 or something which means it's a three millimeter uh by how many threads per so you don't have to know that stuff but they'll usually give you different lengths so like they gave us this one and then okay so look it's the same m size but they give you two different lengths because depending on the shape of the back of your television, if you have like a thing sticking out, you're gonna have to use like a spacer maybe. They also give you spacers to get your uh, brackets out past the, whatever the back of the shape of your TV is. But I don't think we'll have any problem with this TV because, come on autofocus. Because the, um, the the sticking out part is actually where the screws are so we won't have any clearance issues on this guy it is it's not new okay it's, it's a couple of years old but this guy is uh it's 48 inches across so it's a larger flat screen and <laughs> although 
It's not new, like brand new. It's, you know, it's only like two, three years old. But I've noticed the newer ones as time goes on, because I'm hanging like maybe 30 or 40 of these a year, you know, times like 17 years I've been in business, whatever. But I noticed that as time goes on, the newer ones are getting really, really light. So if we went and bought like this brand new today, I bet you it would weigh like maybe nine pounds, where this weighs maybe 39 pounds. So that's a good thing about the flat screen television manufacturers. They really cut down on the weight a lot, which makes them easier to handle and, and easier to mount and stuff like that. So let's get going. So this is the articulated arm, okay? This part going on the wall, and then the TV can come in and out and swivel right so then this front part is what the tv brackets which we can mount two of these brackets to the back of the tv and then because they have hooks they have hooks then we're going to lift the television up we're going to sit it on this and uh that's it so basically what we want to do is measure from the top of this look where it matches up on the back of the television Okay, so we don't have much room on this TV, but I want you to get this concept. So we're going to measure from the top of this, okay, when this, to the top of the television, and that's going to give us, that's going to give us the distance down to the hook. Then, and kind of roughly mount it on the bracket stick with me on this then we could measure from the bracket top of the bracket to the top of the wall plate following along add that distance to the top of the television then we'll know how far down from whatever the ceiling the, the next shelf whatever how far down we're gonna put our mount and mark it with a pencil <laughs> yeah I know but watch it again if you have to because it all makes sense it's just measuring the, and I'm just saying it's metric so even these allen keys are metric so I'm gonna take those screws that we matched up and a washer my shirt makes a nice backdrop and a washer and a screw and put it through okay now I told you we don't have much choice on this television because the distances of those screws that these mount to it's like the furthest distance but sometimes and it's why they give you these slots again my shirt's gonna make a great backdrop it's why they give you these slots get that shot there all right slots because you could actually like move this up and down on the television a certain amount to get it uh, the right distance uh, if you got to play around with your height and stuff like that <laughs> again it all makes sense you know put that little red thing at the bottom of the YouTube and put it back and watch that part again if you have to and we're going to screw it into the mounts provided by the manufacturer in the back of the TV as they give you these slots so you can move this up and down a little to catch that bottom screw uh, so we don't have that's why I said we don't have much choice, but we still have uh, Maybe a half an inch to play with if it ends up that like let's say we were hitting that top shelf and I had to adjust stuff We could do it. So uh, Then we put the bottom screw Follow along closely children The handyman is working All right, so I know this can get a little intimidating and a little confusing for some of you guys, so I want to give you a better idea what's going on. Here's the side, side of the television, okay? Here's those brackets that we just put on, and that knob I said to mount to the outside so you can easily reach it from the back. Here is our articulated arm. I have it extended like this just so you guys get an idea of what's going on. Let's say this was already mounted on the wall. This is how it would look, okay? I've just pushed it in. I can take my tape measure and I can measure from the wall plate to the top of the television, okay? And I can see it's 16 inches. 
Okay, I could take that 16 inches and measure from the shelf, the top, and I can measure down, and I can see where the top of the wall mount's gonna go. In this case, because we're going into wood, we can screw it right in. If you're going into sheetrock, plaster, paneling, you have to find the stud behind the wall. I don't have a stud video up yet. If I do, I'm going to come back to this video. I'm going to annotate right here. Click on the annotation. Go find. In the meantime, you can just open another window. Right click on that YouTube thing up in the corner here. Open a new tab. And just in YouTube search, finding a stud behind a wall. Plaster wall, sheetrock wall. Whatever, and watch a video on finding a stud. Best way to find a stud is the knock method until you find the sound. Whenever someone asks me to mount a TV and they say, I want it right here, and it's in a plaster or a sheetrock, they say, I want it right here. I say, okay, I'll put it there, but it all depends on where the studs are. So I can get that height you want by just pointing, but as far as the left and right, it all depends on where the stud is. So, um, and everybody understands that because they don't want their TV falling on the floor. So, um, so that's a given. In this case, again, we're going into wood, so all I really have to do is center it, you know? Okay. These are those screws that we loosened up before. And what it's going to do is just basically lock the bottom track in place. Be able to watch it where she used to watch on this angle. Now she'll be, watch this, now as she's exercising and, um, and the camera is like, close to where she would be exercising, but she can just come here and just pull the uh, pull the tilt out and now watch the TV flat on while she's exercising. Perfect. So again, people, I'm Dino Pinch. You've been in the handyman zone watching us get this flat mount, fully adjustable TV uh, mount up, a long awaited for video. Thanks for watching guys, please sub to my channel while you're here and don't forget because it really helps me out, rate the video, uh, if you liked it or not, just rate it and uh, the comment box below is for you guys to use, any questions, any comments, feel free to put it in that box down there because someone in the future may be watching this and your question will come at me and deed prove to be helpful to them.